TV brought to you by Fresh Shop, delivering the simple, powerful, and customized online shopping experience your customers deserve. Welcome to McCormick Place in Chicago for another exciting year of FMI Connect. Hi, I'm Shahar Downing, and this year FMI is inviting everyone to the table, attracting the decision makers among the top 10 retailers in the U.S. and retailers from more than 25 countries and nearly every continent. We're talking with industry experts about food retail innovations, grocery trends, and better ways to do business. And greetings to all of you, future leaders, connect participants, industry friends, all of you, welcome. On the first day, we explored innovation, which was fully on display at FMI Connect. Steve Case, the tech pioneer who made the internet a part of our everyday life, shared some insight into how technology is shaping our industry. What with new things with the robotics and artificial intelligence, things like that, how is this really going to you know, play out 25 years from now? And so there, I think there is a lot of anxiety. My view has always been, how do you maximize the benefits of technology while minimizing some of the risks? I visited the Technology Zone to experience firsthand the latest gadgets and innovations helping food retailers manage their business smarter. The Zone also featured tech trends at the forefront of consumer technologies and grocers got to check them out before they become a part of every shopper's household. Consumer products on display are part of the CES Innovation Award winners. Take a look at what could be a standard fare in kitchen soon. FMI Connect continues to present opportunities for retailers and suppliers to have strategic one-on-one -on -one meetings at the FMI Connect Business Exchange. These CBX meetings provide the perfect setting for retailers to become acquainted with suppliers of all sizes. At the FMI Connect Buzz Center, sponsored by the Coca-Cola Company, we ask industry experts how they define innovation in food retail. I tend to look at innovation a great deal like it starts out with imagination, that works into creativity, and eventually creativity can become innovation if we do the right things and make our creative ideas real. Leveraging data um, is, is a huge opportunity, and, and really thinking about how do you personalize, target specific audiences um, with communications that are going to be more relevant to those consumers um, and help those shoppers on, the path, on, their, on their path to purchase. Shoppers are really looking for us to deliver upon convenience in a way that really is relevant for them and helps drive that brand love and loyalty over time. Additionally, they're looking for a great experience in store that's motivating and engaging. And actually, beacons are a great way to deliver upon that promise. But I think that if we can be with the customer wherever she is, be relevant and have products that are authentic, and speak to her, then I think we have an opportunity. So it's not just selling general market items, but it's really looking at specialty items that are designed specifically for that community. And I think if you can do that and connect in a very authentic way, you can win in the communities. Innovation was personified at Future Leaders, an opportunity for high potential industry employees to step outside of their day-to-day -day roles and experience one-of-a-kind education centered on supermarket-specific leadership and management. This high-energy networking event provides a collaborative atmosphere for food retail professionals to take their careers to the next level. Day one of the FMI Connect Expo gave attendees their first chance to interact with cutting-edge companies and innovative minds behind the food industry's newest, most exciting products and services. Shahar here with FMI Connect and I have a special guest, Don Edwards with ECR Solutions. So what ways has your company uh, taken on innovation? We recognize as customers are looking for um, a seamless shopping experience, whether they come in a grocery store in a brick and mortar, be able to go to a mobile device or shop online. So they're looking for that seamless shopping experience no matter where you tend to shop. We're excited about our newest innovation which is called Raptor. Raptor is an accelerated checkout solution. So it allows you to increase the throughput and getting customers through the line faster, reduce the labor because you don't need a cashier and a bagger. So you have a cashier that handles exceptions and be able to create that customer experience that's exciting for customers to use. 
There's a lot of things about Fresh, and you know, as we go to more and more digital, people are ordering online. You can take a store that's got 35,000 products on it and categorize them all. So you can see deli and meat and frozen. When you can go in and say, I want to see low fat or gluten free, being able to really pick and choose from all those. So Fresh Up brings all of that power to the retailer and allows the retailer to offer it directly to their consumer within their brand. Our gelato has been around for 50 years and people love our flavor, our texture of the classical five liter or two and a half gallon tubs. Also our pints, but everybody else makes pints. So we stepped up and we are making now innovative products, primarily the cup, which has a little single serve. It is a indulgence, a small little indulgence. And now the gelato truffle, which are two different flavors of gelato wrapped over chocolate fudge, coated with chocolate and almonds, to make us unique, to carve a niche in the gelato category. Tastes delicious. <laughs> I'm the CEO and founder of QM Scientific, and we're empowering the next generation consumer retail experience through artificial intelligence. And I'm Bart, I'm the CEO and founder of Sofatar, and what we do is we bridge the online and the physical world uh, by essentially having screens in stores and retail locations that can adjust to who is standing in front of that screen. Each screen will be mounted at the retailer or a grocery store in front of a, a shelf. In this case, we have the snack aisle and the other dis the display is mounted on the beverage aisle. And the whole point of the system is that we create interactive screens that detect proximity between a consumer and the screen, and the screen is actually gonna show the items that you're interested in. The conference has been fantastic. It's been amazing to watch all the organizations here, the technology companies that are really pushing the envelope around visualization, the use of product content to support e-commerce and omni-channel engagements. Um, and that's really what we're focusing on, is uh, we support our organizations, both our suppliers and our, and our retailers, in the delivery, the aggregation, and consumption of product content. And we focus on a couple different areas, predominantly around ideas of transparency. And really that's what we're focusing on here today, is uh, this idea of smart label, focusing on providing uh, robust information so consumers understand what's going in their bodies from a food perspective. It was a day of innovation at FMI Connect, and there is even more to come. Visit fmiconnect.net to watch more of FMI Connect TV on YouTube and check out hashtag FMI Connect on social media for the latest from the FMI Expo.